morning, class. Um, I hope everyone's doing well today. I would wanted to thank everyone for coming through to today's lecture. We're going to be discussing something very, very important and very critical as far as um, sexual education goes. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing condom use and STIs. So including myself, there will be four guest speakers. We have Christina, Daisy, Diana, and myself, Victor. Um, moving forward. I just want to kick off and talk about objectives. So by the end of this lesson, uh, students will be able to, uh, there's gonna be a total of four objectives. One, name the seven steps to putting on a male condom. Two, explain three negative consequences of not wearing a condom. Three, define what a condom is, because it's very important to know exactly what that is. Uh, four, listing four different types of sexually transmitted illnesses. And uh, before going further, I wanted to have an introduction video on how to properly apply and use a condom. So I'm hoping that everyone definitely pulls lots of information from this and um, absorb as much as they can. How to put on a condom is not exactly a puzzling process, but there are a few steps to follow to get the benefits that these time-tested sperm-catching devices offer. Latex condoms help prevent pregnancy and provide barrier protection against sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. Though very effective, condoms do not completely eliminate the potential risk. That's why knowing how to put on a condom, as well as how to use it properly, maximizes their potential. One thing to always remember, use a new condom every time. So how to put on a condom? Step one, open the condom wrapper. Do not use scissors, teeth, or anything sharp that might damage the condom. Step two, remove the condom from the wrapper. Remember when unrolling, the condom has an inside and an outside. Know which is which. Step three, most condoms have some lubrication, more or less. You can add a few drops of condom compatible lubricant inside the condom before unrolling. This makes putting the condom on a bit easier while also adding more comfort when wearing the condom. Step four, gently hold the tip. Make sure no air is trapped inside the condom before starting to unroll it all the way to the base of your penis. If the condom does not unroll easily, throw it away and use a new one. Step five, after ejaculation, withdraw your penis while still erect, holding the condom at its base to avoid potentially spilling any semen. Step six, wrap the condom in tissue before throwing it in the trash. Do not dispose by flushing it down the toilet. Step seven, wash your hands and your genital area with soap and lukewarm water. That's about it on how to put on a condom. Have fun and always hump responsibly. Need condoms? Go to Condom Jungle. Perfect. Um, moving on. <laughs> Uh, so let's see what you guys all learned and what's going to be um, taught and actually what we'll, what we'll be doing is we're going to try to see if anyone has any questions but before all that we're going to go ahead and play a game of Kahoot. So starting off I would like everyone to get their phones out for those who want to play. Uh, I recommend that everyone does. We're going to do a classic game and the pin should be popping up right about now when you're all ready. Go ahead and do that. You guys about 30 more seconds. and STIs. All right, you guys all ready? Okay, so question number one. Latex condoms help prevent against pregnancy and which of these STIs? Uh, 
all these good job everyone got it correct um so latex condoms definitely do protect um penises and also the vagina from all types of stis including herpes gonorrhea and chlamydia all right next so in the lead we have wendy condoms are 100 percent effective form of birth control true or false True. Sorry, excuse me. False. <laughs> so um, three people answered true. Um, definitely it is not 100% effective. Um, unfortunately, nothing is 100% effective as we know today. But um, definitely condom use is recommended to prevent pregnancy and again STIs. Okay. So question three, true or false? It is possible to put on a condom on inside and out. True or false? All right, there is true. All right, so now in the lead we have D. So question four, condoms can be reused as long as they did not break the first time. That is false. All right, so now we have Wendy in the lead. D and Jimmy are not looking too good right now. Okay, so any type of lubricant can be applied to make condom application slash usage easier. True or false? It's false. A lot of times people won't realize, but the recommended type of lubricants to use with condoms would be silicone or water-based condoms as opposed to an oil base that would create um, cracking in the condom. So you definitely want to avoid that. And a lot of times they will have um, directions and directives on how to probably apply it and what is good for um, condoms. So moving on, we have Jimmy in the lead. So question six, true or false condoms easily dissolve and can be flushed down the toilet. True or false? False. Um, definitely do not flush your condom down the toilet since it can lead to um, Clogging, um, it would be quite funny to have a plumber over the house to see that. All right, so we have Jimmy in the lead still, smoking Wendy and D. You should wash your hands in general area after sex. True or false? That is true. So definitely like after having sex, it is very important that you wash your hands in general area due to like, um, it's just definitely just like part of being, like this is like cleansiness and uh, just taking care of your body. And now we have Wendy in the lead. Wendy's looking good, but it's very close. We have Wendy and Jimmy. True or false, eight of eight. Condoms are the only contraception that protects you against both STIs and unwanted pregnancies. True or false. That is true. So let's go ahead and see the podium, see who won. Third place we have D, good job. Second place, we have Jimmy. And number one, first place, we have, drum roll, Wendy. Right on. Good job, Wendy. Awesome. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Diana and I'm going to be talking about what is a condom. Condoms are thin stretchy pouches that are worn on the penis during sex. They provide protections against um, pregnancy and STIs and they are readily available and easy to use. They come in all different colors, flavors, and textures and sizes. The types of condoms um, we're gonna be talking about, one is male condoms that are made up of latex, which is rubber or plastic, which is polyurethane, nitrile, and lamp, lamp skin. Lamp skin condoms do not protect against STIs, although sperm stays inside, the pores are big enough for bacteria to pass through. Only latex and plastic condoms are um, um, protects against STIs. Now I'm gonna be talking about how to put on a male condom. Step one is to check the expiration date on the wrapper or the box of the condoms. 
Step two is to open the non-expired condom carefully with your fingers as directed on the wrapper. Do not use teeth or scissors to open it. Step three is to place the condoms on, on the tip of the penis with the rim facing outwards. The condom should look like a small hat. If the condom was placed inside out, do not reuse it. Open a new condom. Step four is pinch the top pinch the tip of the condom with your index finger and thumb while rolling the rim of the condom down the erected penis. Make sure to leave a little bit of room at the tip of the condom to collect the semen. Step five is optional, but you can add um, drops of water base or silicone lubricant on the outside of the condom to help prevent it from breaking. Step six is once your partner has ejaculated, hold the rim of the condom sec securely while pulling the penis out of your partner's body. Step seven is to remove the condom by pulling the penis out of it while having a secure hold on the rim of the condom. Properly throw away the used condom in the trash and do not throw it in the toilet. Next, we're gonna be talking about fem female condoms. They're made up of a substance called nitrile. The female condom fits inside the vagina and has a ring on each end. The ring that is placed inside the vagina fits over the cervix and covers it with the material. The other ring is open and it rests outside the vagina and covers the vulva. Hi everyone, my name is Daisy and I'll be talking about what does sexual activity mean? So sexual activity is when individuals participate in sexual acts that can be done alone or with a partner. Some examples of these are masturbation, sexual intercourse, oral sex, foreplay, and non-penetrative sex. And the consequences to not wearing a condom during sexual activities include accidental pregnancy, increased re risk of getting any sexual transmitted illnesses, which include HIV slash AIDS, viral hepatitis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and um, genital herpes, which are not curable. In addition, there is an increased risk for getting other diseases that are transmitted through sexual intercourse like Ebola and Zika. Uh, and between American ages 15 to 24, they make up 27% of the sexual active population. However, they account for at least 50% of the new STIs um, gathered in each year in the US. And some examples of sexually transmitted infections are HIV and AIDS. HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus and, and AIDS stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And there are three stages to this infection. The first stage is acute HIV infection. The second stage is chronic HIV infection. And stage three is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And there's no cure to this disease. However, treatment is available to help slow the progression of HIV to AIDS. All right, continuing with different types of STIs, there's viral hepatitis, which is one of the leading causes of liver cancer in the US. Chlamydia, which can cause infertility in men. Gonorrhea that can cause serious complications if left untreated, and genital herpes, where most sexually active adults have this type of infection but don't know they have it. And STIs don't always have symptoms, or they may only show mild symptoms. Thus, it's it's possible to have it without knowing. But fortunately, these are preventable through the use of a condom, and getting tested at a clinic for these infections can help decrease the rate of them spreading. All right, guys, um, let's see if you were all paying attention and understood everything that we just taught you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask a few questions just to see um, what you guys retained. Um, so if you guys want to type your answers in the chat, um, that would be awesome. All right, question one. What are the four types of condoms? If you only remember one of them or a couple of them, that's totally fine. Just go ahead and type everything that you remember. All right, answer one. The four types of condoms, so the male ones include latex, plastic, polyurethane, and lambskin condoms. And then the female condoms are the nitrile condoms. Um, those are the ones that fit inside the vagina and they have the rings on each end. Um, we put some pictures up for you guys just to kind of jog your memory and so you can better get an idea of what each of them look like. All right, question number two. 
what are the seven steps to putting on a condom? Um, now, I know this question is kind of long, so um, just try your best. Um, put all the steps that you remember. Try and remember the most important ones, like about the condoms breaking and what, what to do and what not to do. I'll give you guys a few minutes for that one. All right, answer two. So here are the seven steps one more time, just to recap. Um, so first, you're gonna check the expiration date and the packaging, make sure that um, there's no rips or tears and then it's not broken because you don't want a damaged condom before you try and use it. Um, step two, you're gonna carefully open the condom wrapper with your fingers, not scissors and not your teeth, because like I said, you don't wanna break the condom. Um, step three, you're gonna place the condom on the tip of the penis with the rim facing outwards like a hat. Um, as you saw earlier in the diagram, um, the middle of the penis looks like the base of the hat and then the rim around looks like the brim of the hat. Um, so make sure it looks like that so you don't put it on inside out. Step four, you're gonna pinch the, pinch the tip and roll the condom down to the base of the penis. And number five is optional. You can add a water-based or a silicone lubricant to the condom um, to prevent breakage and also for it to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, just make sure that you don't use an oil-based lubricant because it can cause breakage um, to the condom. Step six, after ejaculation, hold the bottom rim of the condom while pulling the penis out, um, just so that you don't spill any of the semen that's inside. And then step seven, carefully remove the condom from the penis and throw the condom in the trash, not flushing it down the toilet. All right, good job, guys. Question three. What are the consequences to not wearing condoms during sexual activity? All right, let's see what that answer is. Unintended pregnancy, STIs, and other diseases are the consequences. So make sure you guys are always using condoms if you're gonna engage in any sexual activity because it does prevent these things. All right, now Diana is gonna walk you guys through some true and false questions, try and answer them as best as you can. Okay, so now we're gonna be playing a little game of true and false. Um, thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false. So here we go, first question. Condoms come in all different colors, textures, flavors, and sizes, true or false? And the answer is true. Okay, next question. Colored condoms work better than uncolored condoms, true or false? Okay, I see thumbs down. That answer is false. You guys are correct. Next question, true or false? Only males are allowed to buy condoms. I see some thumbs down. And the answer is false. You guys are on a roll. Next question. Old base lubricants are good to use on condoms. Is this true or false? The answer is false, correct. Okay, condoms should be used for vaginal, oral, and anal sex, true or false? And you guys are right, it's true. Okay, last question. Expired condoms are okay to use as long as the package is unopened, true or false? And the answer is false, you guys are correct. Okay, well, thank you guys for um, participating. Okay, so um, now before we wrap up this presentation um, and this lecture, we wanted to talk about some closure. Um, so we do have a few questions uh, for the class. So what do you feel was most important in today's lecture? Uh, the second question would be, what other alternatives are there for people who have a latex allergy? Uh, the third one is, what is one thing or topic that you feel like was unanswered or not clear? So a lot of these are, um, very, we feel like these are very important questions to ask the class, um, but if anyone does have any 
like questions, definitely ask us. But if not, um, we wanted to provide a lot of information regarding condoms, STDs, HIV, and pregnancy. Um, obviously, there's like so much more even to this, lots of research. But if you do have any like questions that you might have, ask yourself like later on during the day or um, any other time. Uh, we wanted to provide a link from uh, Planned Parenthood. So if that is the case, definitely check it out. All right, guys, so we do have a worksheet for you guys to do on your own time. Um, we want you guys to bring it to our next class meeting so that we can review all of the answers with you guys. Um, there's only six questions, so it won't take you very long. Um, but basically, just fill it out to the best of your ability and then bring it with you to class next time we see you guys. Um, we just want to thank you guys so much for paying attention and interacting with our lesson. You guys are amazing. Um, don't forget, if you're going to engage in any type of sexual activity, make sure you're using condoms because they are so, so helpful. They protect you against STIs as well as preventing unwanted pregnancies. Um, so just remember that and all the um, cool facts that we told you guys today. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. We'll see you guys at our next class meeting. Thank you. Thank you.